having said that having said that if you think too much about these things oh no not right now mm. later not right now tomorrow then you're just sulking and everything is building up inside mm. you so honestly so don't speaking procrastinate. yeah honestly yeah. speaking i don't think there is no uh, good time to resolve a conflict or mm. bad time mm. it really depends i think um, how good you are at influencing other people mm. uh, towards listening to you or uh, <coughs> hearing your point of view mm. uh, can it's very vital isn't it yeah, yeah. yeah can vary from situation to situation uh, now coming to men uh now uh, with men and women i think what's different is uh, this is a big deal this is not a big deal uh, mm-hmm. i mean when i look at this uh, for men uh, many of the things which are a big deal to women they're not to us mm-hmm. so yeah uh, men take conflicts you know uh, lightly uh, mm-hmm. and uh, at times some things are like okay no big deal he didn't call me my friend didn't talk to me he didn't con- congratulate me or anything mm. no big deal with women it's totally different as we were discussing earlier before the show yeah they got uh, hurt yeah hurt <laughs> and you know, yeah. Yeah. yeah so i i guess uh, th- that gives flavors also because yeah. if you act the same so you know what's yeah, the use of having the fun well with that we have to go on a break okay, okay. please don't go too far and definitely don't go too far because we have a lot more coming up on the show after the break <laughs> really yeah <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back from the break. Thank you so much for staying on the show with us. We have Sumaira Bro and we have Asma Mustafa in the studio with us today. We started out with talking about professional conflicts and conflicts uh, in the workforce. I think yeah. another very important point that we have to mm. understand here is first and foremost when we talk about conflicts at work, I think mm. people take it for granted that we're talking about professional conflicts. Mm. Mm. Okay, we're taking mm. it for granted that I asked you for this you know blah blah and this is the third time you haven't sort of yeah. or whatever or you know you were supposed to present this way and you yeah. didn't mm. what if it isn't because you know you do have personal conflicts at work as well because mm. you're spending more time with your workmates than you are with your family mm-hmm. yeah, most of the time uh, how absolutely. do you deal with them because i'm sure dealing with them will be completely different from work mm. oriented because work like you're saying i can yeah. imagine that if when you say principles yes. if you know you're right yeah. and that person should have I don't know X Y Z on time or whatever. Then you know that's behind you. That you yeah. know, yar, ye karke dena tha, and you know, uh-huh. I can't take any more of this. Ah, uh-huh, bilkul. Absolutely. You know, this shouldn't happen again. And you feel you're right doing it. But if it's, it, what if it's a personality clash, or what mm. if you know they're saying something about you? What about in this country? Yes. Mm-hmm. A lot of times, a lot of women have issues because mm-hmm. the men talk. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, she's like this. She's hot. She's that. And what if that comes back to you? Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. You know. And it does. it does come it back does to come you back it to does you. come yes, back it does, to you yeah. and i think i'm i'm sorry if i'm sounding very blunt but this is things women mm. deal with at work mm. all the time mm. Mm. how do you approach a situation like that mm. i think sonia the closer uh, the closer the colleagues in an organization are imagine yeah. they're not okay. imagine you're talking about a multinational or okay. something in which they're 300 people yes absolutely but even in those 300 people if you are very closely associated with each other okay. there will be more conflicts i think one should make this mm. thing very clear in your in all our minds that if we are very closely connected if we talk about personal things at in professional time yeah. mm. there will be personal conflicts mm. it's it's impossible not to have them mm. secondly again we're all humans we all have our likes and dislikes so mm. there will be times where i will not like the way sumair works for example if we're working to- together mm. and there will be times that maybe my clothing just mm. puts him off as a human being mm. again these are all personal things you can't say okay 9 to 5 i'm going to put my values or you know things i like dislike yeah, in, in a separate zone. box because yeah. my professional zone because then again you tell people that you have to oh be nice to people yeah. you know be human to people respect them mm. so these are all things that you do hopefully in mm. your personal life also so when you have that combination you will have that combination in conflicts also mm. so if that appears to you again uh, if you see subordinates that you're not or colleagues and if you feel you're not being comfortable with them for x y z reasons mm. i think it's always good especially if you're talking about a multinational with 300 yeah. people it's always good to draw a lot of the state companies as a lot of the state companies because there i mean there's hundreds of them it's always good to draw your lines mm. you should always know your limits that okay uh, in a professional environment even though i'm i talk about this person about my personal issues mm. in a professional environment what are the things that i can Not have no a disagreement go. with yeah, and yeah. what are the things that are no go areas and yeah. you because you've highlighted women i think it's uh, recently i've uh, had an interaction with an organization 
uh, which has evolved very mm. soon from a very state culture mm. to a very corporate culture mm. so all the old people were the old uh, you know the oldies that we've always had and the new people joining the organization have a modern or rather liberal approach towards mm. life mm. so there was one girl whose whose clothing was a little different and she came up to me and she said you know i'm facing a huge problem mm. because all these men don't understand that you know this is my brought up this is the way i've grown mm. up and mm. this is what i prefer mm. so the simple thing is if you can't if you're at that level where you cannot go and communicate it to them mm. ignore it yeah. you should know your own limits and if you don't allow people to come and nudge you nudge you on that they will not mm. but yes if you give them open arms and if you mm. allow them to mm. come into mm. your territory and comment on x y z things which are not important in a professional environment they will not have they will you know they wouldn't do that mm. it's never what you're saying it's, it's always it's, it's yeah. always your demeanor your body language which will communicate what you want to be communicated in a mm. professional environment so may what do you say uh, <clears throat> okay <laughs> uh, i think uh, Firstly I think conflicts are you know all conflicts are unique you know it's I think a famous saying by I think it was Tolstoy Tolstoy who said all happy families are the same mm. each unhappy family is unhappy in its own way mm. so every conflict is unique uh, secondly uh, coming to the you know organizational conflicts uh, I remember the story you know personal story uh, one of my bosses when I used to get in to an argument with him and you know he used to say uh, so mad you drive a car he, I said yeah and he used to say so when you're driving a car would you go and hit a bus at times mm. i said no he said cuz i'm the bus here mm. so if you hit me it will be your loss mm-hmm. uh, same goes for organizations uh, you know there is this famous uh, win win situation i mm. think um, we totally misunderstand the win win situation mm. because win win also means that at times uh, because of the position someone who's senior than me who has mm. more authority uh, if i uh, you know argue with him mm. and just because i'm angry or i'm right I won't get anywhere. Mm-hmm. So the idea is that you know don't hit the bus directly, maybe yeah. overtake it, honk, mm-hmm. or you know be nice to the bus. Maybe the bus will let you, you know, mm-hmm. go Pass in front, yeah, pa- give mm-hmm. you the way. So it really depends from situation to situation and uh, uh, as far as cultures are uh, concerned, organizational cultures, uh, mm-hmm. I think all organizations are evolving. Uh, so conflicts I think are essential part of life. Mm-hmm. Uh, because people thrive in conflicts. Uh, I agree with that. Yes, yeah. uh, because yeah. there are challenges. challenges, and when you're challenged, and if you do your best, uh, you can uh, do a lot. Uh, you know, a lot of stuff with your life. Yeah. yeah. And I think a lot of times, crises are the moments where you actually get yeah. to know your own potential. Absolutely. You yeah. never thought you were capable of managing a certain mm-hmm. scenario, mm-hmm. Or, you know, dealing mm-hmm. with Till it. Then. But it's only in the crisis that crisis. you get to know your true worth. Yeah. Now, if I can <clears throat> sort of progress <clears throat> and come to relationships, as in friendships. Mm-hmm. uh where do you think the conflict lies amongst friends i i don't usually have issues with my friends because mm-hmm. i'm very open uh uh-huh. mm-hmm. you know really? like like you're saying like yeah. if i have an issue then i'll just say bhai nahi acha laga ya uh-huh. you know i can't pent up in you know so i think that makes life much easier i think um here the female male perspective would be it would be great to know because as you said you know you'll open up i think yeah. i'm the same and i've seen a lot of women dealing with conflicts in a similar situ- mm. uh, in a similar with a similar behavior that mm. you, they would just go up and open up mm. and communicate mm. a lot of times what is painful nahi karti nahi karti acha are even if they do so in se main dekh rahi hu phone nahi kiya ha that too i think what dif- oh. differs in the in the kind of relationships <laughs> with you you know that's one thing i think it differs with the kind of relationships yeah. but a lot of times when they do the the men if you're especially dealing uh, in a conflicting situation with the man on the other mm. side and if you see that it doesn't really made any difference to the other person whether you stated what was bothering